Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? Your voice. It's, uh, interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound, uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? Far as I know, I'm your first. Good point. Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. Hey, know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. Still kinda strange. How you cross the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants or small animals. Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses, either. These were left by an astral being. Or the worldly. We gotta follow them. Geralt, look! This here's definitely a clue! Dead moths often mean a phantom's nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of... death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh... Seriously? All right. Now I know what we're up against. Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. It visits the Hermit at night, drinks her blood. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. An Umbra actually makes sense. Umbrae are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, Doofus. It's right over there. It's getting away! Come on, witcher! Hop in the saddle! Gotta catch it! There's the Umbra! Let's go, Geralt! After it! Hey! Gotta save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. Geralt... We gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. You'd really do me a solid if you could uh, apply a slightly surer hand, be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. <sighs> Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left, right, twerk where I'm standing? Yeah, and it'd be great if you could respond more fluidly to my commands. Hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, hey, yeah. and the innkeeper says, Hey, pal, why the long face? Ah! <laughs> Let's not lose sight of that umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Run, Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <sighs> as long as we're being candid, I gotta ask. Why do you sometimes buck me off in the middle of a fight? First I've heard, 
Don't recall that ever happening. Of course you don't. Oh, fuck! Gerald, watch out! Some kind of glowy magic thing going on with this tombstone. We should check it out. Marcello Clerici. Knight. Died last year. Was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. Thinking aloud, that's all. Helps me focus. Geralt! It's the Umbra! Attack! Could free his spirit, pardoning him on behalf of his horse. But you shouldn't do it if you don't think he deserves forgiveness. Did a rotten thing. Got no excuse. Your horse was loyal. Did the best damn job he could. Cause that's how we horses are. True. I know I deserved what befell me. But we aren't vengeful, don't hold grudges, don't dwell on being left in monster-infested woods. So, in your poor Blaze's name, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. I feel... it's incredible. Such relief, such lightness. <laughs> All right then. Guess we might as well head back. Penastri's nights ought to be ghost tree from now on. Anything to add, Geralt? Nope. Let's go see her. Phantom's gone. Shouldn't torment you ever again. I felt a change. I did. As if I'd been released from a cramped dunk cellar. I had come to belief. No one could help me. I'm grateful, Witcher. I'm well aware Witchers work for hire. For pay. But I've no coin, alas. I can offer only this. Mm. Potatoes. A good crop this year. Exceptional. Ought to thank my horse, actually. Phantom's departure? Mostly Roach is doing. Then I thank you too, noble creature. Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path? Ride to the nearest notice board? Rustle up another contract? Exactly. Though, effects of the bruise waning, I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you, and... <laughs> Clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher.